Thank you, my lord. Thank... Cao Shuang thinks he is a capable leader. Shu are not the force they once were. Look at these sycophants. I was reading my history, and apparently Lu Bu was the first man. I'm just glad I never had to face him. I could have took Lu Bu. Lord Wang Su's daughter? But what is she doing on the field of... Who's that beautiful... Lord Suma Yi is attempting oh, to yeah. ascertain the abilities of Lord Cao Shuang. That is why I sent your brother to this battle. Why do I always have to get stuck with these menial... T I'm just like you, my lord. And it's not like I don't like her. My lord. You're a lucky man, my... Has your father really retired, my lord? Wang Yuan, geez. Shu is currently in a state of chaos. Come, my lord. Oh, I suppose making an effort is too... Bitch, I will slap the shiznit out of you. Lord Dong Ai is an experienced veteran of battle. I hear Lord Dong Ai likes to make maps in his spare time. My lord. Ah, there you are, Su. I want you to launch a surprise attack on the enemy supply base. If I do, then our defenses here will be thin. I think it best if we prepare for an attack by the enemy and strengthen our defenses. You're not the first one to mention that to me. There is no way the enemy will try to attack us. They have no idea what we are up to. Enough. I order you to go and attack the supply base. <sighs> I suppose I don't have much of a choice. This has all gone wrong, Dung Ai. Lord Cao Shuang wants us to raid the enemy supply depots. I apologize, but I am still worried that the enemy will spring a night raid. I hope they do. That in teaching. Come on, we'd better get moving. The supply depots are to the northwest. We must approach undetected. We've been ordered to defend this area. Do you think you can handle it? Too easy. 
things are looking very good for us. It would have started me out with this guy. I could have easily done chaos. That boy. The enemy seems to be coming from the north. We must take the western gate and head south. Try and stop me. You have your father's eye for strategy. The western gate, you say? Very well. I am fine. You must be tackling in South Swan. Oh, you're almost dead. My lord. You need to concern yourself about me, but thank you. How could this be? It's as if your actions out there have cured me of all my ailments. Amber.
nice. Looks like we'll have to take care of them. I'm afraid you're just a Come <laughs> on. 
like we got away clean in the end. But the general may prove a problem. I suppose I should go and report on what happened to my father. Most impressive, my lord. You reminded me of your father out there today. What? Come on. Don't say things like that. Right. Let's move on out of here. Oh my God. He defeats the enemy with a short decision making and retreats by the safest route. It seems the Suma family is the only one that can reunite Wei. Everybody demanded the return of the cunning strategist they had known. The army led by Cao Shuang to defeat Xu was unable to achieve any results. And Cao Shuang's reputation as a military commander was dealt a crushing blow. On the other hand, Suma Zhao's skillful retreat helped further the Suma clan's reputation as brilliant strategists. Cao Shuang was convinced that military action could not restore Wei to its former brilliance. And so he held a feast at the palace that lasted for several days. With this lavish banquet, he hoped to gain influence and power by winning over the hearts of the leaders and governing officials. However, his opulence began to put a strain on the coffers and accomplished little but to drain the country of its resources. Just then, word arrived that Zhang Wei of Shu was preparing to invade Wei. The only way to meet this threat would be to depose Cao Shuang and replace him with Suma Yi. Oblivious to these calls from the people throughout his country, Cao Shuang continued to hold his feasts. As the misguided rule of Cao Shuang continued, Suma Yi sequestered himself in a mansion within Luoyang and refused to come out. However, there was a distinct gleam in his eyes, like that of a wolf stalking its prey. This was the beginning of a coup d'etat, a natural move for one of such cunning intellect as he. Come, my son. Cao Shuang must be dealt with. I am not generous enough to allow such a fool to do as he pleases. <laughs> <laughs> 